Hello team, how the devil are we? My name's Theo, welcoming you once again to my big gorgeous nerd cave. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something, so things are looking a bit weird. I've got the photo backdrop out, I've had to shunt Unicron out of the way, so looking a little sparse over here. We've got the desk fan out because it's crazy hot in here, sorry if you can hear it. We're gonna have to deal. Because we've had a very pressing and very enormous delivery from the folks at Hasbro! Look at this monster, this is ridiculous! But yes, I am very excited, I believe this is a a celebratory Rise of the Beast mailer. Have you seen it yet? You better have. I'm gonna be talking about it. There probably will be spoilers. So pause this video right now and dash off to the cinema and I'll catch you afterward, yeah? Here is some merch. Shall we have a look at it? So judging by the weight of this thing and like how much an average Transformer generally weighs, I'm reckoning this is gonna be a two-parter. So we'll make a start. We'll see how we feel. This is massive, all right? But before we dig in, let's get caught up on channel business. Congratulations to a Trump see Hayworth for winning the Optimus Prime giveaway the other day. I really hope that it brings you the joy that it should because that thing is wonderful. Everybody needs to experience that once. So congrats Chauncey. I love that I get to do this. Anyway, I'm just going to pour this onto my lap. I don't know how else to physically do it. Oh baby. Careful, careful. Oh no, Spinister! Look at this! Good god, that is quite a, a monkey vault! Aztec monkey symbol? And on the back, gigantic maximal pack! Oh, this is a very movie box, isn't it? It's kind of a uh, Transformers, kind of Jurassic Park, kind of Ghostbusters, rivets and girders and hazard lines and that. Anybody want to take a guess as to what that is? Let me look up the old uh, Jim Sorensen cipher. C A U. T oh, caution. That's caution. I kind of figured it'd say like primal or something. You'd tie it in, but okay. And this D. Oh, danger. All right. Caution, danger. Are, are we scared? Are we terrified of the merch that's going to be in here? Are we sufficiently threatened? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Christ, that's a lot of gear. <laughs> Did I make that clear enough that this is a free mailer from Hasbro? They've sent me some merch for promotional purposes that I can check out and show off so that you'll be hyped. But yes, huge thank you to Hasbro for sending this over. Love being on the books. Love being part of the promotional storm. I hope I haven't missed the boat. <laughs> like I've seen folks like Ben's World of Transformers got a similar thing, but like, cause I'm in the UK, I think it took a bit longer and I work pretty slow as well. So I'm hoping this is still timely. You've seen my editing style. You know how labor intensive that is hashtag free product. So we have a big TF shirt. Got some Autobots on there. We got B, Optimus, and a Wheeljack coming at you for Rise of the Beasts. I am officially far too fat to wear that. Yeah, this is an L. I've got no chance. I'll get it over my head. It'll fit me like a balaclava. But what may fit me slightly better, <laughs> I believe this is a one size item. It's the uh, legendary Optimus Primal wearable battle mask figure. This is incredible. A big monkey mask that transforms into a robot. Should we have a go? What an absurd item. I've heard it's quite good. Well, how are you going to engineer that? How are you going to make a legit robot figure that turns into a whole monkey face that you can then wear? Very lucky boy to have... Uh... <laughs> got one of these in the post. I kind of lost hope on finding one of these in the shops. I ain't seen them around anywhere. Although, to be fair, I haven't really been looking. Okay. <laughs> Immediately, we're uh, confronted by the rear side of the face. So he's going to be looking right at my third eye the whole time, is he? There's no way this is going to fit me. I have an enormous head. I have a real hard time finding hats that fit. Never mind children's play masks. Excuse me. Look how small my eyes are. God, I look so much like my granddad without my glasses. Ow, Jesus. That is uncomfortable. <laughs> It's got my whole beard sticking out underneath it. Slipknot, call me, I'm ready. I'll be the new pointy head man. Should I like try and see how long I can stand wearing this? Cause I've got like 10 more products to look at, but that is not how this video is gonna go. I can't wear this. Ow! That is not for a large, heavy set 39 year old man. I'll tell you that much. I don't even think this would have fit me when I was six. There's so much bulk like between here and the snout. What a strange item. <laughs> I love that this exists. Can't wait to see how this is going to turn into a geezer. A beast with a mind and fists. I love that it doesn't even have a gorilla mode. It has a robot and a gorilla's face mode. Give me your face. Oh, right, right, right. Got it, got it. There's four points. Two on the chin, two on the eye socket area. 
Come on, there we go. Snap the head out. Those move down. The bod comes... Th so the forehead, the whole forehead of the gorilla mode, that is Primal's tum. Legit shoulder joints there. Full on ratchets. Oh, okay. God, that's actually really clever. Gobbly ball joints. Shut these around, right? Yeah, and then we just turn the feet. Okay. Contain most of the strap within the tum. And we kind of have a monkey man. You know what? That's, that ain't bad. An inelegant thing, mostly for novelty and comedy value, but I think we could give that a pass, right? I've never seen anything quite like this. It doesn't seem to have a name or anything. Yeah, it's not like action mask. Or, you know, role play, revenge, rise of the role play. It's just friggin' Optimus Primal. Nothing fancy, simply Optimus Primal as his own face. And I love that. <laughs> he was the star of the film, wasn't he? He was the breakout legend. None of these colors happened in the film. He's just like black and silver monkey bloke. That is the best transforming toy I've ever seen that goes from a robot into his alt mode's face. Eat that, Cerebros. Great start. This is wonderful. Got like five Optimus Primals in here. Definitely started with the daftest one. Very visible sort of division in the kind of stuff that's in here. We have Optimus Prime as a face mask and stuff of that level. And also a bunch of Studio Series stuff. So let's have a peek at Battle Trap. God, wasn't it nice in Rise of the Beast? Again, spoilers. Wasn't it nice that there were some baddies and they were consistently a legit threat and they didn't all just die as soon as they arrived? That was deeply frustrating in every Transformers film was that as soon as an enemy showed up, there would be one scene with him and he'd die. Bone Crusher, friggin' Crankcase, Devastator, Infernicus. They'd have like one moment and then just immediately get obliterated. But these guys showed up, wrecked the place, actually caused some legitimate problems for the Autobots, and stuck around until the end of the film. God, just tore through that, didn't I? Check it out then, we've got Battle Trap, Studio Series 99, wonderful action pose with his big flail on the go. Just the 30 steps in the transformation, is it? All right. Uh, cheeky backdrop, we have some uh, little Roman pillars. Very cool little action sequence there, wasn't there? You got folks busting through it, the geography mattered, you could tell what was happening, and there were consequences. Like it was a real film and everything. Anyway, let's figure out what's going on with these uh, wrist-mounted clampy things. They've been packaged in a convenient way, but I don't know where they actually sit in the robot mode. Oh, hell yeah, look at this guy. Very jaggedy, sort of heavy-duty lad, throwing around his bulkhead wrecking ball, making all kinds of trouble with that. He's one of these guys where the name doesn't really matter though, right? Like the name Battle Trap comes from that blue Duocon lad from like 1987. They, they did one in Power of the Primes. It was really cool. Love that guy. I did a whole video about it. Check it out. But this ain't him, is it? It's just a name they had floating around that sounds about right. Give it to this robot who has his own thing going on. Why not? It's fine. But it's Battle Trap, baby. Look at this guy. He's just a pure violence gremlin, isn't he? Total brute. Just here for the ruckus. Oh, I kind of love this design, man. <laughs> Instant baddie transformer vibe. Let us spike on the go, a lot of yeller. Somewhere between Bumblebee's horrible jock stepbrother and like juiced up creme Zeke. I don't know. Feels good, looks cool. Very legit studio series moment here. Number 90. I always got an Autobot badge. That ain't right, is it? Is that just because it's Transformers? I don't know. Should be a Terracon, shouldn't he? I'm afraid I'm on the instructions today. It's always difficult to guess how a movie verse toy is going to work. So I'm going to let it show me and we'll see how we go. First off, we nudge the back down, pop these things out to form the light bar. Okay. Oh, come on, that wasn't four steps. Get out of it. <laughs> Took away the uh, shoulder spikes. Arms up, head forward, head double forward. Okay. Shoulders totally blam out like that. Tuck him away. All right. All right, all right. Flip that roof and pop this down. Flip these up and out. <laughs> I love Transformers. <laughs> what is that? Scooch this waist. Oh, I see. And that forms like a little winch. Neat. Didn't foresee that coming together so suddenly and gracefully. Pop these out. God, there's a lot of fiddly bits on this guy. But it does seem like a much more unified approach with these characters than they did with Bumblebee. Like, the toy line for Bumblebee seemed to come very late. Like, Blitzwing wasn't out for ages. Shatter and Dropkick seemed to have been produced from concept art. This at least feels like it was based on the final character. Yeah, there we are. Now we're getting a chonk on. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend this isn't a little bit confusing. If this is gonna maintain in any capacity is a different question. And the finishing touch, we bang the wrecking ball onto the winch thing. I think, come on boys, Let's do it. Yes. Big, nasty, industrial grade 
pickup lad. A little bit tricky here and there, very sort of difficult to squish in place perfectly, but that is a pretty solid baddie robot thing. Definitely your uh, Voyager class money's worth, I reckon. This is a stodgy lad, crazy parts count, tons going on. Studio series Battle Trap, pretty sweet. You can't even really call this a live action version of a fan fave character, can you? Cause it ain't him, it ain't the Battle Trap I know. It's not the blue lad who's half truck, half helicopter. This is an unrelated lad with the name sort of slapped on him off the shelf. It's okay, they do that all the time. Have you seen a Transformers film? That's what they do. Remember Blitzwing? <laughs> Come on. Barely matters what he's called. Point is, he's a nasty fella with a horrible industrial alt mode, and that is kind of my jam. Love that. Love the light bar. Love the long arm -y vibe. Yeah, it's it's evil long arm. Wrong arm. Why not? Beautiful. What do we got here then? This is a uh, some kind of massive bumblebee, similar to the uh, was it nitro charge bumblebee we had for uh, bumblebee. I'm just, I'm just saying bumblebee a lot now. Looks like a large scale sort of younger audience aimed massive play explosion can confirm I would love this if I was six. Looking like some kind of ancient statue in there. Mechanical beast deity. Band name. <laughs> yes, mate. Did enjoy Bumblebee in uh, in Rise of the Beast. I like that he was uh, more of a supporting bit part player rather than, oh, wow, that's pretty sick, actually. Rather than, like, the main robot. He's always the main robot. I'm sick of this guy. So it was nice that the spotlight sort of went to a different character this time. It was very much the Mirage and Optimus show, wasn't it? And everybody else was kind of back up. And I love Bumblebee in a role like that. Anyway, Beast Mode Bumblebee. Uh, he's got sort of birdie wings on the go and uh, I noticed a beak in there. Sword. Didn't clock that. Battery compartment there. Does it have batteries in it? Oh, guess so. <laughs> hey! Oh, that's rad! Okay, so how this works is you took the wings away for a minute, let him sit sort of neutral for a second, and then... Oh, that rules, man! <laughs> Spoilers that nothing like that happens in the film. There is no like maximal Autobot combination team up moment. But that as a toy, as an action feature on a toy for six year olds, that is fantastic. The reveal and the eagle shriek moment, that is something else, bro. Oh, that's so silly. I love it. <laughs> Does this count as a brouhaha? Barely. I don't know what else there is I could say about this. Very much in the vein of Battle Ops Bumblebee, the enormous one, and uh, Nitro Charge B from the uh, 2018 film. That is the most half-assed radio scramble noise I've ever heard. Doesn't seem to be much order as to which one it plays. It's just there's three sounds and it plays whichever one it wants. Sword. Power up moment and crap radio chatter. Yeah, that's something as well. Like the radio chatter sort of thing that Bumblebee has always done, it's played exclusively for comedy in Rise of the Beasts, almost exclusively as a gag. And it's actually really funny. It's not trying to be like overly earnest or like shock value funny. It's just kind of cute, you know? And I love Optimus's response to it as well. Anyway, we're going for the alt mode. I think we'll manage. He's come back. Uh, that I think is gonna fold up. Yep, that folds up like that. But yeah, as concerns like brouhaha's, you know, I'd really just be repeating the spiel for uh, Battle Ops B or Nitro Charge, because this is just a big silly toy for kids loaded up with electronics. You know, you know the story. It's one of them. So let's just enjoy it now and see what it's got for us, yeah? There we go. <laughs> I forgot to fold away his little Wolverine claws and it was making things difficult. But we nailed it. Cheeky uh, sword storage right there. This is a very sort of Transformers Prime era sword, isn't it? Very Beast Hunters. This is all a bit Beast Hunters, actually. He's got the new sort of off-road expansion. How do we feel about that? Big, chunky, high-clearance, all-terrain wheels. No wonder he's Beast Mode. Nice, uh... <laughs> situational driving sounds? Get that motor running, will ya? Could you, at some point, if you get chance, if just if, if you get a minute, maybe a bit later today, could you, uh, you know, if, if it's not a bother, could you uh, get your motor running? Maybe friggin' head out on the highway, I don't know. 
up to you, innit? But yes, Beast Mode Bumblebee, let's transform him back real quick. Nice uh, entry level Bumblebee experience. Perfect for the uh, excitable seven year old in your life or the uh, 40 year old fun enthusiast. We don't judge here. I enjoy this now and I know I would have loved it as a sprog, all right? Optional Wolverine claws. Look at the bird on its chest. It gives it a sort of um, 90s mecha anime vibe, doesn't it? Like, why has it got a bird on it? Because it looks cool, all right? Not bad indeed. One more time. I love that. <laughs> Cheers, Hasbro. Right, that's another big dafty down. Why don't we get back to some studio series? This is uh, number 97, Air Razor. I think I have the original kicking about somewhere. Yes, I do. This is the uh, original Air Razor toy from, was it 96, 97? Early on in the Beast Wars run. Slightly thunky, a little bit clunky, but very of its time. This is a pretty faithful sort of update and reimagining. Not even really a reimagining. It's just a, just a straight update, isn't it? Lady, what is a bird. Extremely likeable presence in the movie. Very sort of comforting sage energy. I would trust her. I would let her babysit. We have a missile. Is it just the one missile? Typically if there's missiles, if there's somebody with wings and has a missile, there's normally a couple, but I'm only seeing one. Uh, there it is. <laughs> it was on the faux backdrop. You get the backdrop and the additional faux backdrop, which they ruin with twisty ties. A lovely sort of nature moment there in the stream with the rocks in a cave with an owl. That's a really cool toy. Hell yeah. Doesn't seem too complicated. We have a uh, little rocket bomb weapons, which can go arm mounted or handheld. Very much dig that head sculpt. It's like a feather crown, sort of like an elvish helmet showing up at Helm's Deep to save the day. Come on, Ellen Dill. Friggin' elvish Presley. <laughs> A lot of this type of joint here with the little double plug there. A lot of those on Battle Trap too. Possibility is actually kind of unreal on this thing. We got a waist swivel? We do have a waist swivel, hell yeah! Dang, this is a decent toy, man. Very into this, actually. Let's do the bird thing real quick. Let's see what we got. Love the colors, nice sort of nature-y vibe with the feathers evoking leaves. Definitely a, a grass type Pokemon. What if a bird was a tree? Very decidui. <laughs> so those feet are apparently the wrong way around? Yeah, that makes more sense for Robo Mode doesn't it? Little mechanical toes. Very not a robot vibe on this, apart from that and a couple of bits of metal. Doesn't feel like a robot at all. This is like a forest hero. Let's give this a crack then. So we flip these back around, flap these out like so. The first seven steps of the transformation are just straightening the wings. This double joint sort of yanks out like so, gives it a bit of clearance for the head swap. This is great. Come on! Fold that back up. So where do these arms go then, eh? There's a little indent on either side for uh, where the fist goes, and you just jam it in there. Missiles point the other way. Spin that waist. Spin the calves. Ah! There you go. The legs have like extra legs in them. And board. I'm actually really impressed. That is a solid toy. Is it? Yeah. It's just like the Kingdom one. I got the Beast Wars second Skywarp version up there. Way off in the distance. And yeah, I've just kind of clocked that this is very similar to that. I don't know if it's a retool. I don't know if it has like shared engineering, but it's a very similar vibe and why shouldn't it be? Hell yeah. Studio Series Air Razor. Super impressed with that. What a gorgeous color palette that is. I would expect like a Air Razor yellow plastic and brown feathers. That's that's what I would think of for Air Razor. But this is a much more sort of naturalistic take. Something very of the forest about that. And I love it. Dang, sleeper hit. I'm usually not that arsed about Air Razor, but she was great in the movie and uh, really good little action figure there. Good wing action, lots of flap. More flap than most. Studio Series 97, Rotaba Air Razor. Not bad at all. Right then, bit more monkey. This is a Command and Convert Animatronic Optimus Primal. Good God, this weighs a ton, this thing. Hefty boy. Ooh, he comes in like an egg tray, okay. <laughs> that is very much King Kong being delivered to New York, isn't it? A couple of big swords. Looks like we can do like a Darth Maul thing. Oh my God. He heavy. He bouncy. Come on, Funky Kong, what you got for me? Weird feeling, strangely bouncy creature. Can he monk? Good God. <laughs> Ooh, it's very strange, very springy. Floppy friggin' armor bits. How do we propose this thing works? I see a button. Four double A's? Ah, oh, Christ. All right, hold up. I'm gonna go and sort out some batteries. It is hotter than hell out there, woo! Right, let's power up this monkey. And four, good God, this better be worth it. <laughs> this better blow my absolute mind. I have a feeling it might. So that is on. Beast War! 
Optimus. Amazing. <laughs> I'm Optimus Primal, leader of the Maximals. It's not what I expected it to sound like. Very chill. Optimus Primal, maximize. Oh no. <laughs> Is that it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Robotic forms should be used sparingly. Beast mode. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Interesting. That's Prime. Are you sure it's not just Prime? Stand ready, Maximals. Prepare to move out. Oh, what fun. Very vague instructions here. So you can speak at it, you can clap, or you can press the button, and it'll do this, or that, or that, or this. If you simply make a noise at it, a vocal sound in its direction for two seconds, it'll transform. <laughs> this is so silly. A Decepticon victory, not on my watch. When have you ever met a Decepticon? Maximize! I love how 90% of the transformation is just his shins. This world is more than meets the eye. Well, he said it. Predacons could be closing in. Should we guard this sector? Say scan the perimeter or dismiss. Scan the perimeter! Scan active. Stay quiet. I'll report unusual readings. Dismiss. Intruder! Leave now or face me! Beast. Right. What a wonderful slab of Beast Wars fun. I love that it plays like the guitar riffs. But I'm having a Robosun reaction here in that I don't feel like this toy needs me. It won't allow me to play with it. You can't do anything with it. I have very rarely met a toy that will talk over me. Have anything else to say? Are you going to let me? <laughs> Whose voice is that? That ain't Ron Perlman. Fun co-host this. I don't feel like I'm having to do much work. Does it do anything that isn't transforming? You're a great leader. Disagree. Um, it doesn't seem to be much rhyme or reason to what it does when. Like every command that you have for it. Press the head down, press the button. It just transforms. I don't know. I, mm, very daft. It wouldn't be my first choice, okay? Appreciate its massive size. Appreciate that it can at least stay idle in robot mode, Robosun. If you want a robotic toy like this, this is a much better option than that Optimus Prime, surely. Prepare to feel the power of Optimus Primal. Monkey. What, you were expecting a truck? <laughs> All right, I'm sold. It's got me on board. Shut him down for a second so I can speak freely. How much fun is that? What a silly product. I'm really happy to have had the opportunity to check this out. Should we have a breather there? Should we leave it here for now and pick it up later? I think we should. That's enough Beast Rising for now, I think. So we have had Beast Mode Bumblebee, the Optimus Primal Face Mask, which simply is called Optimus Primal. Studio Series Battle Trap, very nice indeed. Studio Series Air Razor, surprise hit. I wasn't expecting to get much out of this at all, and it's actually brilliant. And of course, Command and Convert Animatronic Optimus Primal. So cheers for watching, and thank you once again to Hasbro for sending over this big box of delight. Uh, gonna have a cup of coffee and keep filming, and I'll drop part two in a couple of days, yeah? Please do check out Rise of the Beasts in cinemas currently. Um, it's definitely worth checking out on the big screen. Lots of big scale action so it's definitely worth the cinema experience you kind of need to do it and until next time reject modernity return to monkey oh it's always a good time here isn't it cheers for watching everybody what a lot of silly bollocks this channel is uh, i'm gonna crack on with this so how about for now we'll say a big thanks to mr bad guy and indeed all the other patrons but especially mr bad guy for today thank you mates appreciate it <gasps> brb be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.